This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In every generation, there is a great rivalry. Brutus versus Caesar, the French versus the British, the US versus the British, Spain versus the British, seasoned food versus the British. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I genuinely love the British, but you guys gotta admit, you've been part of your fair share of rivalries. Anyways, life is full of great rivalries and today is no different because today we are covering my personal nemesis, Stanley Cup accessories. That's right, because expressing yourself through an army of $50 Stanley Cups is apparently not enough. We need to accessorize through what can only be described as a competition for the most absurd choking hazards you can think of. To be clear, I am not roasting the Stanley Cup itself, though I have done that before in my water bottle culture video, so go watch that afterwards if you want to see more. But see, I lost my mind a bit when I was covering some Halloween Stanley Cup accessories in my recent video on Halloween hyperconsumption, and I asked you guys if I should make a whole series roasting these trinkets while progressively falling into madness. What do we have? A mini, mini Stanley Cup to hold your chapstick. What is this? Why, why is this? Why? And you guys gave a resounding yes. So if you feel like you'd have fun watching more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you find any links to weird Stanley Cup accessory videos, you know where to share the links. And I know what link to share with you guys right now. How about a link where you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code, Kara Nicole. Oh yeah, we are talking about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Let's say that you share my disdain for Stanley Cup accessories and you want to start a blog roasting them too. Guess what? Squarespace is there for you, baby. Start your blog and customize to your heart's desire with drag and drop features. Squarespace offers tons of beautiful templates so you don't have to start from scratch and you can get to roasting as soon as possible. Or let's say that you decide to open a business turning trashed Stanley Cup accessories into art. Once again, Squarespace has you because you can set up your own e-commerce site to sell your products and services, complete with customer checkout and invoicing features that make it incredibly easy to build your empire. And let's say that you want your special anti-Stanley Cup manifesto available for your loyal supporters only. You can set up a paid membership and paywalled content on Squarespace too. Seriously, Squarespace has it all. There are so many easy to use, gorgeously designed, and super smart features that make building a website an absolute breeze. To get started making your own website, go to squarespace.com slash Nicole to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code Kara Nicole. Go check them out and thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So if you ever thought to yourself, wow, I really wish that I had a purse that can only ever stay perfectly upright or else it'll destroy itself with liquids? Yeah, me too, that's the dream. Well then, guess what? The Stanley Cup accessories might just be what you need because they seem to have transformed what was originally meant to be a cup for water at the gym and turned it into like a makeshift purse. Just look at this, What what is going on? This feels like the character Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy where we're slowly giving the Stanley Cup more body parts. In this situation, we are Thanos, we are the monster creator, and I fear that one day the Stanley Cups are going to seek revenge for how we have messed with them. I mean, we've got everything on this Stanley Cup. A pill container, very random. A chapstick holder, feels excessive. And you know, I love chapstick, but I don't think that I need a custom holder on my water bottle solely for my chapstick. And what if my chapstick isn't the right size for the holder? You know, I have a lot of questions. And logistically, now there is a chapstick in the way of the bottle's handle. Just take a long look at this and try to imagine how you would hold the water bottle without messing up the chapstick holder. Because it seems like now all you have is this little corner to work with. That is an awkward amount of real estate. I'm not gonna lie, arthritis, is gonna hate this. And I know that I'm getting fixated on this chapstick part. I promise that I will move on in a second. But last thing, I noticed in this video that when they drop the mega pool of hoop ice into the Stanley Cup, the chapstick shifts. Do you see that? It like bounces out of its container a little when the bottle moves. That does not look like a secure fit to me. That looks like you are going to be spending a lot of money on replacement chapsticks this year. Plus, right after we add the chapstick holder, we start getting little Stanley ready for school with his backpack on. So couldn't we have just, you know, put the chapstick in the backpack? Wait, does anyone remember Flat Stanley growing up? The story of the little kid who got squished and flattened, but then realized his flatness could be awesome. So then his brother used him as a kite at one point and he traveled the world via mail because it was cheaper than flights. Yeah, it was kind of disturbing looking back on it. But what I was going to say is that maybe modern day Flat Stanley would be flattened by a giant tricked out Stanley cup because these things, 
are massive. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. We have backpacks for water bottles now. That was the original point. Because why would you put a bag on your shoulder or waist when you could strap it to a water bottle that you have to awkwardly hold because of the chapstick? I can't get over the chapstick, guys but I must. But really, why don't you just use a purse here? Or a tote bag? Gosh knows that people love collecting tote bags too. It seems more practical to keep all your things in a purse than stapled to a Stanley cup, because the second that you sway a bit too much as you walk, or you hit a bump in the road, or you just knock over the cup because accidents happen, all your stuff is gonna get wet. Stanley cups are not known for their leak protection. Actually, crazy enough, you can buy Stanley cup accessories to solve for that exact issue. Ridiculous when you think about it because instead of Stanley Cups designing their cup better or just buying a water bottle that doesn't have major leak issues, we have created an entirely new accessory market for leak protection. Not that kind of leak protection. But it is wild that for these $50 bottles, you still need to invest in accessories just so that they work properly. Let me say that I have had many a free water bottles over the years that have not leaked like Stanley Cups do. But alas, there are spill guards and straw caps now. And yeah, they're not that expensive. You can buy a whole pack of these spill proofing accessories for under $10, but it is the principle of the matter. It's like how iPhones don't come waterproof. So you end up having to invest in waterproof cases on top of buying the phone itself. The straw caps open a whole other can of worms too, because they are not just for utility. In addition to stopping a Stanley cup from making a mess, there are an endless supply of funky straw caps that you can buy to express all the nuances that make you you. Like I'm a Halloween fan, or a flower child, or I love glitz and glam, or hey, I'm actually a tiny Stanley cup in a human-shaped meat suit. And yes, you are not losing your mind, or maybe you are, because I think I am, but no, you are indeed seeing a tiny Stanley cup-shaped piece of plastic on top of a larger plastic-filled Stanley cup. This is the future, my friends. This is true innovation. And I'm proud to be an American. I've actually learned through the course of making this video that these are called straw charms and that, as I suspected, people often buy more than one of these. Why? I'm not sure. Since we typically only drink with one straw at a time, or maybe we don't, maybe you and the bud love to share a drink together and I need to stop judging. But either way, straw charm collections do in fact exist. I came across some insane videos of straw charm collections, like this one where the creator literally needs multiple organizing boxes for all of the charms. And if you look closely, they're not all straw caps either. No, 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 no. Straw charms, I've learned, are a larger umbrella term for any kind of decor on your Stanley Cup straw. Like you'll see that some of these are just holes. There's no liquid protection going on there. And that's because they are just meant to slide onto the straw for accessorizing. I'm gonna pause for a second just so that we can take this all in together. I recognize it's a lot of stimuli, it's a lot of madness. I feel like I'm on the most bizarre treasure hunt in the world and the payoff at the end of the treasure hunt is just this ever expanding landfill. I'm also realizing that there is still so much that I haven't covered and that I wanna cover. So I'm slowly convincing myself that maybe this could in fact be a series on this channel. If you genuinely want to see that and it wouldn't be annoying on your feed, please let me know. But seriously, there's just so much content on this topic. Like, look at this video I came across while looking for straw charm examples. I counted and they have 19 Stanley Cups. 19. And remember that these are not cheap cups. They're around $50 each. So this video alone is showing $950 worth of Stanley Cups. You could have just bought one and then used the rest of the money for an amazing vacation or your retirement fund or groceries. But instead, we have almost $1,000 worth of Stanley Cups. Plus, as you probably noticed, they each have their very own straw charm. Half of them have a mini Stanley Cup straw charm that matches the color of the Stanley Cup that it's on. Very Inception-like, very microplastics core. But all right, I wanna end this by returning to the videos we were looking at earlier with our Stanley Cup purse situation, because I haven't shown you all yet what it looks like once everything is in place. Are you ready to see this monstrosity? Well, here it is in all of its glory, even featuring a mini fan on the handle. The part of the handle, as you'll remember, that was my only real estate for holding the actual Stanley Cup since 
the chapstick was in the way. They took my real estate. So where am I supposed to hold the Stanley Cup now? How am I supposed to use it? It is like the most inconvenient purse imaginable. I don't get it. I don't understand if they signed a deal with the devil banning them from using bags. But hey, you know, if you do want a bag with your Stanley Cup, you are in luck. Because looky here, a Stanley Cup purse for when you want to stay hydrated and carry around a blocky bag. And if you want to hold your lip glosses different from chapstick, to be clear, you can buy yourself a teeny tiny bag to then clip onto your bigger blocky bag that can then hold your Stanley Cup, which is also, of course, a bag. Help me, I am secretly a tiny Stanley Cup inside of this Kara girl's meat suit. I need to escape to get back to the planet I grew up on. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Money Madness episode. I think I'm gonna call this Money Madness, maybe, maybe not. If you wanna see more, you know where to let me know. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Go watch my Halloween hyperconsumption video if you wanna see me lose my mind there too. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. See ya, bye.